Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and today I am super excited to share something that we've been working on for the last couple of months. Uh, today is July 22nd, 2020, and it's the Alexa Live event. And with that, Amazon's gonna be announcing some new things that are available to Alexa developers, and among those things are some Dabble Lab templates that we are really excited to, to provide that can now be accessed through the Alexa developer console. And that's what I'm gonna show you today in uh, this quick video. So I'm logged into the Alexa developer console and I'm gonna create a, an Alexa hosted skill. And I'm gonna just call this um, demo skill. And I'm gonna leave the defaults. The, we're gonna choose uh, custom and Alexa hosted for Node.js, the two defaults. And then if you have been in here before, you'll notice that there's been a lot of uh, updates and in the next screen, you can choose a template. And there are some new templates from the Alexa team available. And there are also a couple of templates from the Dabble Lab team. So these two uh, here, the scheduling skill and the, the survey skill. The scheduling skill is a skill that lets users schedule a meeting with the skill owner. So. Um, our original idea on this was kind of like uh, Calendly via Alexa. So users could say something like, uh, you know, Alexa asked Apple Lab to schedule a meeting. This is the uh, the, the template for that. And the, uh, the, the survey template is a, a little bit more generic, um, but we used a use case for a stand-up meeting. So like a daily scrum meeting. And uh, in, in our use case, we, uh, ask the user three questions, you know, what are you working on today? What did you work on yesterday? And is there anything blocking? And in both of these, there's some things that weren't included in, in earlier templates, things like we're, we're calling third-party APIs, uh, we're sending email in both of these, and we're using voice authorization in the survey skill. Let me, let me actually, let me just show you that. So um, this, the, the voice authorization was something that we came up with for an internal skill that we were working on that we, we wanted to have the skill semi-private, but we didn't want to use account linking to uh, avoid the user having to, to go into the Alexa companion app and authenticate. We really wanted the user to authenticate using their voice. And so we came up with um, just a pin. It's pretty straightforward. So the skill prompts the user for a, uh, a numeric pin, like a four digit pin, and then the user can provide the pin and that authenticates the user and, and lets them in. So in this example use case that we had here, you would have members of your scrum team, each one of them would provide their pin. The pin would uh, identify and, and authorize them. They would provide the responses to the survey or the scrum stand-up questions in this case, and then the responses get emailed to the, the scrum master. And so all of that functionality is uh, available in this template. So um, if your use case is Scrum meetings, it's ready to go. But if it's another survey, the skill could be pretty easily modified. We, uh, to, to okay, so we're ready to go here. To, to set everything up, if you go into the code, actually, let me just, we'll just test it the way that it is first so you can see what happens by default. So if you enable testing here and go, um, Open demo skill. One or more environment variables is not set. Please see the readme file for help. Okay, so there's variables that are required for this skill to run, and that's why we're getting this message here. But if you go into the code, there's a file uh, named .env.sample. This is an this is an example of the environment variable format that we need, and you can just rename this. So if you just go rename the file, just remove the .sample ending. So just name it .env, like that, and that will be ready to go. And then um, you need a few other things here. You need a uh, a SendGrid API key, and you need a from address and a to address and you can get those here you can go to sendgrid.com and you can sign up or uh, sign in if you already have an account you can just use the free account there's no credit card required i'm going to uh, let me see i'm going to log in with an existing account rather than creating a new one so i can get a, an api key so let me do that We 
remember my password. There we go. And then once you're logged in, you can go to settings and then in settings, there's API keys. And then you will create a new API key here. And I'm gonna just create a uh, one called um, demo key that I'm gonna delete. And then um, I'm gonna choose restricted access. Really the only thing that this key needs is the ability to send mail. So this is required here. Yeah, so toggle that on and it doesn't need scheduled sends. This is really the only permission that this skill is gonna need, just the ability to, uh, to send mail. So just to keep it as secure as possible, just toggle that on and then create and view. Uh, you don't want anybody to see this in a real production environment, uh, so keep that safe. Another point on that is when you're, um, paste this in here, when you're saving this, if, if you save this out to uh, GitHub or something like that, make sure you add this file .env to your uh, git ignore so that you don't accidentally share this uh, API key. And I'm showing it now in this video, but I'm just gonna delete it after the video, so not a big deal. And then the uh, the from address, in, um, in SendGrid, you set up uh, an address that's going to be uh, like the sender email. So we've got two variables in here we need. In this, there's I've got one called learn at Dabble Lab. And then I'll just make myself the recipient, so Steve at Dabble Lab. Like that. So the uh, the from address is the address that you have set up in SendGrid as the, the sender's email address. And then the to address, this is the person that's gonna get the report. So then you would save that and deploy it. And then once this is finished deploying, we can go back and test it again. It takes, uh, takes a minute to deploy. And you might have noticed also when we were setting up the, uh, the skill, it, it takes a little bit longer than uh, some of the other skills because it's pulling in a number of uh, NPM packages that uh, take a little bit. So it takes just a, a little bit longer to, uh, to start the skill template up and to uh, deploy changes. Okay, now that that's changed, we can go test it again say open demo skill welcome to daily stand up to continue please tell me your pin okay so this is what i was talking about earlier the uh, the pin and the way that we set that up if you go into the code here there's a file called team.json and there's this there's a, a record in here or a, a, a json object for each one of the team members and we put two in by default just for for testing so this one here 1111 or 1111 and then 1112 the uh by default it's it's going to be looking for a four digit pin so if you add additional team members to authenticate here you want to make sure that each one of them has a unique four digit number that they can use to identify themselves. Go back over here and test this with 1111. Okay, your pin is valid. What did you work on yesterday? Yesterday I worked on issue 42. What will you work on today? Today I'll work on issue 43. What if anything is blocking your progress? Nothing is blocking my progress. Thank you. Your report was sent. So now at this point, um, an, an email was sent. It, we also save it to S3. So if you go in here to the, uh, the code tab and then go down to the media storage here and open that up. And here under, not media, but if you just click on the uh, the the bucket root bucket name. There's a uh, a folder in there called reports, 
And then in that folder, there's a subfolder that is the date that any reports were created. And then for each report that was created, you have, this would be the user name that's defined in the team.json file, and then a, uh, a, a timestamp. And then here you could um, download that. And then you can see the results of that report. And this is exactly what gets emailed as well. So it's uh, just the, the report. So that is, um, that's the, the survey skill and the use case again that, that we thought of for um, uh, an example was the, uh, the stand up meeting use case. Hopefully that is helpful or valuable. If you have any questions, you can leave those here in a future video. I'll come back and um, also talk about the uh, scheduling template that is available in here. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and um, I will look forward to, uh, to responding and hearing what you think of this new template. Thanks so much.